What up guys, Real Touch Gmail here, and if you see by the title, I am very happy to announce that I am starting a fighting game slash engine series in Game Maker. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and you know, it's just time to do it because I haven't really uploaded videos in a while, but that's what I'm going to start doing. Uh, so we're going to be using Pivot uh, Animator and Game Maker. Now if you don't know Pivot, um... I'll have a link in the description. This is this is pretty much pivot right here. Once you open it, so you make animations. So say you have this stick, you hit next frame, next frame, next frame. And if you press play, it'll play it uh, as, as it is. So if I just let me show you a uh, let me show you something that it's not finished at all, but I was just doing this because I was bored. This is made with Pivot. So uh, this is the uh, program we're going to be using to uh, make the animations for our game. Now if you ever played Mortal Kombat, I don't know if you have or not, but basically we're trying to try to go th like towards there, the, the side, the 2D side fighting. If you don't know it, uh, look up Mortal Kombat 3. On YouTube you should find tons of videos on it and uh, we're also going to be you know having like combo combo attacks and stuff which like you just hit multiple different keys and it'll do like a special attack like I don't know blaze fire at you or throw chainsaws I don't know but that's basically what we are doing with pivot then we'll be programming it with Game Maker. Uh, so let me show you. I I created the movement, and we might start a little bit on the movement in this part. I'll, definitely won't finish it, but this is the movement uh, that I've started. As you can see, all these animations are made with Pivot. And yep, he just jumps in the air, and he runs. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in this part. Now this is, you only need one object for this, which is nice. And uh, I think in this, in this whole series, we're going to make up to three characters. It depends on if I think you get it or not, judging on the comments. But yeah, go ahead and comment, tell me what you think about this, because tell me if you like, any suggestions that you want me to do in this fighting I am going to be making AI so fighting game AI which is not gonna just be dumb he's actually gonna run up to you punch you stop block all sorts of stuff so we create a new file uh, I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and drag in all the sprites here let me just show you what to do so you do player now I'm going to try to base this towards the light players too that don't have pro. I'm not sure if you can do all of it, but... Okay, so you're going to load up your, uh, you know, standing, running, jumping. Okay, so here's my standing. You can edit it, transform, crop. Now this is this is when you're done with the animation. Let me show you how to save the animation. Yeah. Alright, if we open up Pivot, okay, say we make this animation here, where he's all over the place. We're gonna go to File once you're done with him. So, like, if you wanted, like, uh, animation of, like, the dude standing there while he's not doing anything in the game, there's him. And you can make him like bob back and forth. He's tired. Uh, yeah, but see, like, uh, if we delete these here. You see, just made that real fast. Once you're done with that, with him just standing there, you're gonna go to File, Save Animation, save it wherever. You're gonna save it as, say, Standing, and you're gonna save it as a GIF, a GIF file okay just save 
Now you're going to get this GIF options, deselect palette, and you can use all of these one by one. It should be all, everything should be already clicked except palette. Don't use palette. Press OK. As you can see, we have our GIF file right here. If we open up Game Maker, we go to Create Sprite, Load. We go down. We see our standing sprite here. Uh, go edit it, transform, crop, border size zero, and that should crop it down, and you can see his animation here, which is really nice. So now you're just going to repeat the process in Pivot for running, jumping, and if you're not that good with Pivot, just look up some tutorials real quick. I'm sure you can find some on, on basic running, how to make a, your player run and stuff. I'm not great with Pivot, but, you know, I'm not the worst. So... I'm going to pause it right now just to spend some time. I'm going to uh, import all my sprites and I'll get you back uh, in a second, really. All right, so I just went ahead and imported all of it. And you see here, I'm making this light friendly, like I said. So we have the right of him just standing right. We have the left right here. And little shortcut I don't know if you knew this if you edit it and you do transform mirror flip it'll just flip it over so you don't need to do different anime you can if you want but you're gonna go ahead and center all the origins center 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 all right we're gonna start on the actual object now I'm actually going to create just a uh, wall or like a floor just so I can uh, this real quick and you should know how to make a floor if you're looking at this tutorial because this is more of the advanced why am I going in obvious all right so solid I'm just gonna put this down here there we go all right so create your object. So I'm just gonna name it OBJ player. Go ahead and pick which side he starts on. So if you want him to start facing right or left, I'm gonna have him facing right. In the create event, right off the bat, we're going to add some code. Now, I'm not gonna put an annotations. If you can't see the code, please give me a comment. I respond to them quickly and if you want me to do an annotations from now on go ahead and comment that you want annotations so for now I'm not going to though so I'm just gonna you're just gonna do jump underscore FAC uh, equals zero and you're gonna do jumping D equal true now jump and facing are the same thing so this just this right here is going to uh, show you which way he's facing so he's facing right so zero will be right and one will be left jumping oh I'm sorry my fault make it false because he's not jumping when he is jumping in the air this will turn to true okay and then if you want it said health to equal 100 we're not going to be doing anything with health yet, though. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to be using a lot of drag and drops just for the sake of the tutorial. We, uh, If you want me to use code, that's fine. If you want a smaller, just you know, tell me everything you want in the comments, and I'll get back to it. It's wrapping up to about 9.20 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and make part two. I'll be back with you later, guys. Thanks.